Importing a Revit model into SketchUp is surprisingly simple. It's just a matter of clicking the right buttons. To begin with, we're going to find a 3D view inside of our Revit model, and then proceed to hide everything that we don't want to import into SketchUp. I personally don't want to include all of these annotation lines, so I'm going to click Hide in View and then Hide by Category. After that, we can go up to the ribbon, click File, scroll down to Export, select CAD Format, and then click DWG. After we get this pop-up, you're going to click on these three little dots right here for some additional settings, and under Colors, we can click Specified in View to get more accurate colors, and then under Solids, we can click ACIS Solids to automatically create groups and components once we import it into SketchUp. After that, you can click OK, and then you can click Next. Here you can label it whatever you want. I'm going to type Revit Export, and I'm going to be exporting it as an AutoCAD 2018. However, if you're using an older version of SketchUp, you may want to do AutoCAD 2007. After that, you can click OK, and it'll begin to export. And after this, I'll meet you inside of SketchUp. Now that we're inside of SketchUp, we can start by removing this nice lady right here and going up to the ribbon once again to select File and then Import. Here you're going to want to find the Revit file that you just exported earlier, and you can either hit Import right away or you can select Options for some additional settings. Here you can change the default unit if you're having troubles with scaling, or you can click this to remove all of the materials and have a plain white building. However, I'm just going to leave it at the defaults and select Import. Depending on the size of your Revit file, it may take a few seconds up to a few minutes, but my file is pretty light, so it should be done in just a minute here. Alright, now that it's imported, we can select Close, and may take another few seconds to load in, but as you can see, we have an exact replica of a Revit model inside of SketchUp. And thanks to the settings that we selected earlier, we have similar colors to the shaded view inside of Revit, and it should also be ordered inside of groups very nicely over here. If this uh, video helped you in your SketchUp slash Revit careers, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more tips like this. Alright, see ya!